Hello YouTube. Today on Black Thumb Tips, Tricks and Tools, I'm going to be talking about wire splices. Wire splices are basically adding a branch of wire onto the existing harness, whether you're adding it to ignition wire, a battery wire, uh, ground wire or any kind of signal wire. Basically this is what you do when you're hardwiring an accessory such as a light bar, a set of gauges, a radio, maybe even a backup camera. These are the kind of connections you got to do to the main harness to, to hardwire it on. Let me go ahead and show you how to do some of those. So let's just say this is the accessory wire we want to add on. And we want to add it onto this green wire right here. You could completely cut this green wire and make a wire repair with three wires or here's a trick that I use I'll use a wire stripper and dig in about a quarter inch away from each other I'll cut into the insulation I don't know if you can see that I dug in enough to where it exposes the copper on those two slits then I'll take a razor blade preferably a brand new razor blade and I'll cut across it and I'll just peel the insulation out so now I can attach the wire on here without cutting the main wire I can also that's where this is where the splice clip comes in handy so you attach the splice clip and you grab your soldering iron heat up the clip directly you can actually feed solder into that hole feed solder into the edges And there's a good, a good uh, accessory wire you just added without having to cut the main wire. The only problem with this kind of wire repair is you can't put a shrink tube in there. Because you didn't cut that main wire, there's no way to sneak a shrink tube in there. So you'd have to follow it with just regular electrical tape. but because of the splice clip and the solder makes a very strong connection so that's the first kind of wire splice very useful in a situation to where you don't want to cut the original wire you have X amount of voltage going through there and you don't want to cause an excessive volt drop or in a situation to where you just want to get in and out quickly let me show you another kind of splice so let's just say we're adding some wires onto this blue wire the same thing but this time, we don't mind actually cutting the wire to get out the connection we want. So we cut it, and we're going to add two accessory wires to it this time. So now you've stripped your wires this is the main wire that you want to tap into so the easiest way to do that would be to put three wires on one side slide your shrink tube into the other bring it down bring them all together 
you can either solder them freehand or you can just add a large enough splice clip that's going to grab all the wires, solder afterwards, bring the shrink tube over, and shrink it the same way we did the other ones. As a matter of fact, a lot of factory ground splices, sometimes even power splices are done this way. You'll run into that on some of these cars whenever you get into the wiring. But just to show the different kind of wire repairs, what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these Duraseal splices. Try to get your wires as even as you can. I like to use soft jawed crimpers because they don't pierce through the insulation. Crimp one side. Crimp the other side. So then you go ahead and bring your torch out and you go ahead and start melting your Dura Seal splice. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. You get a watertight seal and you can just crimp it really quick if you don't feel like soldering or you don't know how to solder makes a pretty strong connection so those are some of the splices that are out there whether you're splicing wires together to add an accessory whether you're repairing a ground splice or something to where you have to repair a bunch of wires whether you're using buck connectors Duraseal splices, splice clips, or just soldering freehand. Those are some of the splices you're going to run into. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.